Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a professional website that looks like this, that you can show off to recruiters and your network and get more eyeballs on what you are learning about in tech. So the first place I would go to get started is go to namecheap.com and register a domain name for my website. I have it, the domain name as my name, philipspatterson.com. And I chose to use my name because that just provides an extra level of personal branding that will help recruiters and anyone else who wants to visit your website, uh, just associate the website to your name. And it just seems more professional in my opinion. So I'll put a link in the description to Namecheap so that you can go online and, and purchase a domain. They are pretty cheap, as you can see, $5.98 for .com. And sometimes they're even cheaper, like $3 if you wanted a .me domain name, and it lasts you for a whole year. So after you purchase your domain name, you're next going to want to go to this website called card.co, and you're going to want to sign up. And this is a pretty neat software slash website where you can create fully responsive one-page websites for pretty cheap. So as we go through card, card is essentially a one-page site for anything that you can think of. And what we're gonna do in this tutorial is create a professional portfolio. So when we're on card, we're gonna to wanna to choose the pro plan. And when we upgrade the pro, it starts at $19 a year, and that's the plan that I chose. And with that plan, you get custom domains, so we can attach our Namecheap domain to our website. It also provides full SSL support, so you, your website is encrypted, so you'll get this encrypted sign in front of your website. So that's an added layer of protection. So once we sign up for card, you're going to enter into your dashboard and look at all of your sites. If you want to create a new site, you can click this button and you can view your current sites right here. When you're ready to create a new site, you click new site and you get to this page where you can choose from hundreds of templates. So these are all the templates and they're broken down into these categories. We have a profile, which you can scroll through and see. And as you notice, some of these have pro, meaning if you sign up for the pro plan, you can use this template. And we have the landing page template. We have a form template, portfolio, which this is used mainly for like artists. And then we have section. For this tutorial, we're gonna use the section template, which lets you simulate multiple pages, which is what we want using section breaks. And the one we're going to choose is this pro one right here. So we're gonna click select. And as you can see, when we after we click select on this template, it gives us a, a blank canvas for us to input all of our information about. And we're gonna go through each section and create our portfolio website. So we're just going to create another professional website. We're going to leave this name as Chase as Case Pollard. If we want to change the text, we just click on the section, change the name. We're actually going to change it to my name, Philip Patterson. Click done. We're going to change this to Salesforce Analyst. Click done. And then for this text, this is just a bio text, so we can put that Salesforce Certified Administrator. All right, so now we're gonna upload a photo of ourselves. So when we go to up, we click on upload, and then we're gonna go to downloads, select this photo, and this is going to be us. We're going to click accept. We're going to click done. So now we have our profile picture next to our intro. Very simple and clean. And we're just going to keep on scrolling through. So now if you look at this section, we have buttons. And these buttons take you to the different quote unquote pages on your website. Now there's not multiple pages on a card website, but these pages are called sections. So as we can see here, we have work, about, and contact. 
If we scroll down, we see this section break right here called work. So anytime that you click the button work, it will take you to this page, which is the work page, but it's really a section. And same with about and contact. If we scroll down, we see about and we see contact. So if we wanted to make multiple pages, we would have multiple buttons and these buttons and pages are, are sections. So let's say we have one for work then we have one we want to change the about to our portfolio since we are showing off our our work for our tech job so we would change this to portfolio we would change the url to hashtag portfolio and then we would click done so as you can see it changed to portfolio we scroll down this did not change the portfolio but when we go in here and and change this section break to portfolio, your website will now be changed. So anytime that you click on this button, portfolio, it will take you to this portfolio page. All right, so now we're in the work section. So what we're gonna do is upload another picture, click upload. And we're going to just crop it out a little bit. Click accept, click done. And you can add text in this section as well. And now we can go down to our portfolio section. So when we get to the portfolio section, we're going to want to use a third party system to add blogs and blog posts that have our article that talk about our portfolio. So I'm going to show you what I use to integrate my blog post into my website. So we are on our portfolio section and we want to get rid of this text so that we can input the code into our website so that we can have our blog post. So what we're going to want to do is go to about, delete this section, delete this text. And what we're going to do is add the embed code so now we have the embed code we're going to put this right above the back button so now that we have the embed code what we're going to do is line this up and we're going to go to our our website to drop in the code so i have two resources that i'm going to show you guys to use if you want to embed a blog into your website. The first one is a cheaper option than the option that I use, but it's called Quick Blog. And as you can see here, the plans that they have, they have a free forever free, which is zero dollars a month. You manage one blog or domain. You have unlimited blog posts per month, unlimited post history for one user. Uh, quick, you, you do, however, have Quick Blog branding, so if there's no water, there's still going to be watermarks on your blog post which is why I did not go with this, this company. Uh, and I did not choose the free option and the essentials to get your blog up and running. So if you wanted to, to try it out, I would highly suggest that you use this, or if you want to pay $9 a month, which is pretty cheap as well as get an extra 20% discount off. The link will be in the description below for this, this site. And it's pretty simple to set up with the $9 a month premium you get the all forever free features plus you get to manage three blogs and domains there's no quick blog branding so there's no watermarks on your website you have a blog search which i highly suggest because it makes it easier for anyone who's navigating your website to search articles and get to articles quicker also there's unlimited users but only you'll only be the only user uh, unlimited scheduling so if you wanted to schedule your blog post ahead of time you could use this pricing tier and have the option you can import from google sheets and you get all integrations so it's 108 dollars but like i said if you use my link in the description you can save 20 percent or you can just go to the website yourself and sign up so this is what the dashboard looks like for quick blog and as you can see we already have a sample blog post and I'm gonna show you what this looks like when you integrate it onto your card website. So 
in order to do that after you sign up you're going to go to settings you can go to blog settings and then where it says install your blog you're going to copy and paste this code and you're going to input it onto your website so what you're going to do is copy it you're going to go back to your website and remember the embedded code that we had we're going to click on this and where it says code right here we're going to paste this code but we're not done yet we're going to want to go back to quick blog and we're going to copy and paste this line of code go back to our website press enter paste that second code and then we're going to click done so now we have our blog our blog post posted onto our website and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this so we're going to hit the save button to publish the site and we're not going to we're not going to attach it to our domain yet we're going to publish it to a dot car dot card dot co url we're going to name it philip patterson and it's going to check and see if it's available We're going to have to add a title, so we're going to do Philip Patterson Portfolio 2, description, tech portfolio. So now we can publish it, and it's going to take a few, few minutes to load. So now when we view the site, so we click the portfolio. And then we click and now we have our our blog post and as you can see we have the power by click blog because i'm on the free trial for this one so then we go back we're back to our home page and then next we can go to contact and this is where we can have people reach out to us after they view our website they can type in their name email and message and then send us a message and get in contact with us. Now the site that I use to to embed my blog post is called Drop In Blog. Now the reason why I like them over Quick Blog is just from my experience so far, their support has been quicker to respond to. Uh, it, seems, it seems to be that Drop In Blog, their support team is available throughout the day, whereas Quick Blog, you would have to email their support team and it might take a few hours or a day for them to respond even though they do respond but the the con to drop a blog is that they are more expensive so as you can see it's $19 a month yearly build so it is substantially more than quick blog but I just like the fact that their support team was able to answer my questions quickly when I was setting up my portfolio website so I'll have a link to drop drop in blog in the description as well and it's the same setup as quick blog so as you can see I have I have posts right here, but to get the code onto your website, it's the same thing. You would copy and paste each of these codes, go back to your website, and then you would copy and paste it in the code section here. So exactly the same process as Quick, Quick Blog, but Drop and Blog, like I said earlier, is more expensive. So if you want to, to pay for Drop and Blog, you can, or you can go with Quick quick blog and just pay the nine dollars a month as well as use the discount uh, 20 percent off that I have in the description below on the home page as well we have our icons so if we wanted to add our social media we can add our Twitter our Facebook our Instagram our mobile number for people to call us from our website we can also add our email and what I did was I changed mine to my LinkedIn right here and then just added my LinkedIn, click done. And then as you can see, it popped up here. So this is a way for people to connect with you even more. You can also attach any other websites like GitHub or anything like that to this bar down here. And it will just give anyone who comes to your website another way to access anything that you would like for them to access, your LinkedIn, your GitHub, any repositories. So this is another area on our website that you can put valuable information at so after we get our website created which didn't take any time at all as you can see it's pretty clean and minimalistic we have our home page which is the one page 
Then we can go to the different pages or sections like I mentioned earlier. So when we go to work, we can list out our work and what we do. Then we can go back and go to our portfolio. On our portfolio, we connected our our blog post using Quick Blog or Drop In Blog. And then we can go back and then go to our contact page. On our contact page, we can have whoever send us a message and then they'll click send message and we'll get that in our email. And it's quick and easy. I love card.co because of its simplicity and how easy it is to create a one page website and we can add our socials and have people just come and get in contact with us. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below after you guys create a website on card.co the URL link that you use because I would love to check it out and, and see what you guys come up with and also subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for more videos like this where I go over other tutorials and things that are working for me as well as document my journey in tech and Salesforce. That being said, that's all I have for you guys in this video and I'll see you in the next one.